Hey guys, Ruby here and welcome to my video blog. Thank you for tuning in. Today I'm very excited to share with you guys um, three easy steps to overcome fear and not feel overwhelmed with big changes in your life um, as is happening to me this year. Uh, this year has been a little bit crazy. I am going through some changes in my life, going through um, you know, creating new things, uh, moving from one place to another, moving from one city to another, and um, it's starting a really um, exciting and new business uh, called Beauty Business Summit. And um, well, that creates a lot of stress, that creates a lot of fear. And so as I'm working through my fears and trying to not feel so overwhelmed, um, I was thinking about, you know, well, maybe I could share this with you guys too. And hopefully this will help you guys if you guys are going through uh, a big change in your life and you're scared and you feel overwhelmed and maybe feel like you can't handle this. Hopefully these three steps will help you overcome that and it will help you um, create peace of mind as you're going through these changes. Okay, so the first thing I'm working on uh, this week uh, that... Is helping me um, overcome my fear and not feel so overwhelmed is actually creating an inventory yes an inventory about my life an inventory about my business an inventory of everything that is going on um, you know I, I, like I said before I just moved to this new place and as I'm organizing things and uh, getting rid of things that I don't want giving away things and keeping the things that I do want um, I I realize that I feel so good after doing that, right? I realize that after clearing all that crap out of my out of my new place, it makes me feel lighter. It makes me feel less overwhelmed, and it just feels good overall, you know. And so I decided to apply that into my personal life too, and my business. And so I created an inventory of everything that I don't want in my life. Uh, actually of everything that I have in my life, um, whether whether it's something new, something old, something that, that has been there for a long time, right? Um, good, fun, exciting, not so good. And so as I'm doing that, right, I'm looking at everything and I'm trying to separate everything in three categories. So number two is analyze what you have, your inventory. Analyze your inventory list, look at it and create two, three categories, keep or throw away, keep or give away. Um, I decided to create three, three categories. One is to keep, that's everything that I want to keep around my life. Two is to get rid of. I don't want this in my life anymore. And some other stuff is things that I can come back and analyze later and see if I want them back in my life or get rid of it, right? Those are my maybes. Um, and so that's how I've been analyzing that list. Everything from, do I want to do this anymore? Do I want to move forward with this? Do I like this person in my life? Um, all the, commits, all the commit, commitments that I have, you know, which ones are real? Which ones do I have to really do? And which ones I don't? And so number one, create an inventory list. Two, um, analyze that inventory list, right? And then separate it, uh, separate the list in categories. What you really want in your life, what you have to have in your life, what helps you in your life, right? And then two, your maybes. I like this, but I'm not sure. And then number three is get rid of stuff. Yes, you heard me. Get rid of everything that you don't need in your life. And that means including people that you might not want in your life. As you're doing this inventory and you're analyzing everything, don't forget to add the people that takes from you, that takes energy from you, that takes um, the passion from you, people that are not supported, people that don't care for what you're doing. You know you have some of those in your life. I know I do for sure. So, um, so whether it's something that you're doing, a commitment that you have, or a friend that is not helping you, Make sure if you're doing this process that you get rid of everything that you know for sure you don't want in your life. So again, inventory, analyze your inventory by separating them with your with what you want in, in your life, with what is a maybe, maybe you come back in the future to figure out if you still want them in your life. And then you're definitely, you don't want this in your life. 
okay? Once you do that and you start taking action and getting, getting rid of everything that you don't want in your life, your life is going to feel uncluttered. You're going to feel better about what you're doing. And if you are going through something really big, a big change in your life like I am, it's going to give you more room to breathe. It's going to give you more room to think. It's going to give you more room for you to create something new with that big change in your life. So hopefully this helps you as much as it's helping me. And if it does and you try it, don't forget to um, share that with me in social media or just leave it here on this video. And I will be more than happy to respond back and to take your feedback and hopefully do more blogs about it. Okay. So let me know how you like it. And if you do like this video, don't forget to like it and share it on social media. I'll talk to you guys soon.